Hi class, this is Mr. G. So we're continuing on and finishing uh, 1.7. Okay, we are in example six. We're gonna go ahead and do C and I'm gonna start you off on D. And you guys are gonna do E and F, okay? So we did these two on an earlier video. We're continuing on. All right, so for example, six C. So we're gonna take the function, this function right here, that function when X equals negative one, and we're going to add it to the function when x equals 5. Okay, so f of negative 1 plus f of 5. So let's go ahead and do it. Let me zoom in. Okay, if you think you know how to do it, go ahead and try it. Pause the video and try it, and then come back and see if you did it right. Okay? All right, f of negative 1. So we're going to take this function right here, and wherever I see an x, we're going to put in negative 1. So we, in this case, we don't need to keep the function here, the f of x, like we did here, because we're actually adding these two. So let's just substitute. So in this case, so this is going to be, I'm going to put them two different colors. So 2 times negative 1 minus 3. And this is going to be plus, and then f of 5. So x equals 5. So it's going to be 2 and x is 5 minus 3. Okay, and this is where we're going to use your order of operations. So order of operations says parentheses first, exponent, multiplication, uh, right, uh, division, addition, and then subtraction. But you can switch multiplication and division, and you can switch addition and subtraction. Okay, so we see, I just put this parentheses just to put it, uh, but it, that means multiplication. So this is multiplication, and this is multiplication. So we're going to go in and do this one first, okay? So it's 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. So we bring this down, minus 3. Plus, and then 2 times, 2 times 5. Well, actually, let's just leave it like that. 2, 5, minus 3. Okay, so we did this one first. Okay, we go from left to right again. So, again, we have multiplication here. So, we're going to go ahead and go. Two times five is ten. Okay, and now we have the addition and subtraction. So we have a subtraction here. So this becomes negative five plus ten minus three. Okay, then addition still here, left to right. So it's this is going to be five minus three. So your answer is two. So f of negative one plus f of 5 is 2, all right? Use order of operations. All right, and then let me go ahead and guide you to do D. Okay, let me guide you to do D, okay? So H of 4, again, this function right here, what does H of T equal when T is 4? So H of T equals... 4 squared minus 5. And then keep going from there. Okay, you got this. All right, so you're going to get your answer down here. You're going to get your answer like this one. You're going to get a point. So when t equals 2, I mean t equals 4, what is h of t? What is y? Okay. All right, guys, go ahead and complete that one. Now, one last thing. Don't get confused, guys. H of t, you can change h of t to h of x, and then the t to x. It's it's the same. It's just that, in this case, it's a function of time. Okay, functions deal a lot with time. So that's all the difference. So right here, you know, it's it could be h of x, and then x here. Okay, that's, the, that's what it means. All right, so don't get confused with the t and all that. Okay, we're just using another letter, that's all. 